this is going to be one of the strongest dropper loops that I have come across. So to start with, you just make one large loop, depending on uh, how much extra line you need for the sinker and how big you want to make the loop. So just one large loop, and then you make a small loop, just very easy, small loop, and you twist it three times. One, two, three. And then you pull the large loop through it. And voila! You tighten it up. Of course you want to put a little spit on it. Make it nice and smooth. Yeah, just kind of tinker around a little bit. But... Uh, it's just tighten it up and um, and that is going to be the strongest dropper loop that I have come across. I really like this. I've got a tester and um, I've been testing dropper loops and always was very disappointed in the uh, the strengths the basic standard dropper loop gives you. Also the uh, three or four turn surge and loop doesn't seem to work any better. So this is what the what the knot looks like when it's pulled together. And uh, so on one side, you put the sinker. That's the tag end. And then the loop, you can cut the loop open for the uh, for the hook, or you can uh, put the hook on the loop the way it is. Um, and of course, the other line goes to the, uh, to the reel. So um, that's the line that goes to the reel. So that's that's the dropper loop, the one I like. 